Yo bro, can you just open the gate please? It must be Dave. He's not home since last night. I'm good. Oh shit. Akash, can you come outside for the help please? Dave. Dave. Wake up bro, Dave. Dave. Oh no, Dave. Take him inside, bro. Take him. Bro, Dev, I cannot believe he's driving like this again. We are here, bro, Dev. Go get a bucket, please, Akash. I've told him so many times not to mix drinks. I don't know what's happening to him. I know he has changed so much in last few months. He doesn't sit with us to eat dinner. Even he replies only one or two words. Yeah, he's avoiding everyone. Even his girlfriend keeps asking me about him at the college. I'm so worried about him. You know what? He gonna kill himself one day. Yeah, we need to do something. Someone needs to talk to him. You know what? We got multiple warnings from landlord because of this guy. He needs serious help. Even I am scared. I don't know what to do. Maybe we should call his family doctor. I don't know his family doctor. Then whom should we call? I have no idea. His parents? No. What will they do? Hey, do you remember that uh, Soch mental health workshops that they did a uh, few months back? Is it related to uh, alcohol or addiction something? Let me find. Let me find their number on their website. Dave. 905 459 459 7777 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 Thank you for calling Distress Centers of Greater Toronto Helpline. This is Rimple. Just to let you know, this call is private and confidential. We are going to ask you a series of questions to better understand your situation. You do not have to disclose your real name. We'll try our best to provide you with the support you need. Can you tell me a little bit more about the reason for your call? Hello, my name is Minnie and I'm here from Soch Mental Health. We know talking about our mental health concerns can be so difficult since there is so much stigma attached with it. This is why sometimes we resort to finding our own solutions to our problems. But I do want to talk about some forms of unhealthy coping that can bring more harm than good. One such strategy is resorting to alcohol. Although it may feel like drinking alcohol relieves your problems temporarily, it is not a long-term solution. Alcohol addiction can have a devastating impact on your mental health as well as your family dynamics and social dynamics. I encourage anyone that has been resorting to alcohol to manage their mental health concerns to reach out for professional support. I do understand sometimes we hesitate to talk to a professional because we feel like they will not keep our information private. Healthcare professionals are bound by their license to maintain privacy and confidentiality of their clients. So if you are someone that has been using alcohol to manage your mental health concerns, I encourage you to connect with your wellness clinic on campus, speak with your family doctor, or for more information, visit our website at sochmentalhealth.com. Remember, you don't need to struggle alone.